Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. As you can see, I am testing out a new space shuttle. An SSTO space shuttle, space shuttle, what? An SSTO space shuttle, but not just any space shuttle, a space shuttle that can land on almost every single planet and moon, except of course for Eve and, uh, what was that other moon round? Jewel, uh, the Jewel moon. The Jolly Moon, Moon Jolly, Jolly. Tylo? Was it Tylo? I don't know. One of those ones. So right now I am actually uh, testing out whether or not gears on this spacecraft is a viable asset. Valuable. Viable. 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 Because of the fact that this thing has to be extraordinarily streamlined in order to work, as well as the fact that it has to be, you know, stowed away in a cargo bay of a spaceship, it doesn't have much in the way of wing space. As you can see by here, it's not a whole lot of lift. We have to be very careful. Oh gosh! Nope, 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 nope! <laughs> So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe the uh, whole uh, gear idea is not going to work. So if you saw the stream, then you saw this uh, in its more basic beta prototype design. I've changed a few things. Put the clampotron on top instead of on the nose. Gave me a little bit more delta V with the drag and all. Added some more liquid fuel and oxidizer right here. So it gets a little bit more delta V in space. But even though the, 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 the gears look good, it just, it doesn't, it's, it's not working. I mean, they look really, really 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 good but it, it's just not working I, like I said when well when you guys first saw this video in the beginning that was like the 12th or 14th time I was testing out the whole landing gears landing thing and every single time I just came in too hot and it just it just bounced and it just, ugh. Ugh. these really really in the back these these really need to be wider they really do yes I've tried the dampening and spring strength and I've done all that and back and forth on and off left right up down but I'm really thinking it, it's not it's not any of this really I mean yes yes this does play a, a significant part in it but ultimately it's, it's just the 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 speed Speed, the speed and, and uh, in correlation with the fact that it's it's not that wide, it's very narrow. Uh, but it looks so awesome! Ah, painful, this is painful. A lot of, a lot of pain going on. Ah. Sadly, wheels on this on this design is just not going to work. We're going to have to go for the tried and trusted design of just landing on its ass. Okay, so we're going to do a quick test right now. It's in the shuttle bay of a half-finished spaceship. I say half-finished because the original uh, file was horribly corrupted. If you want to know more about that, you can watch the video or the, the stream that's, uh, that was before this, uh, this video. Really, really painful shit, I must warn you. So anyway, here we are with the half-finished... Fat-finished? It's what? what? Finished spaceship. It's got the Kraken drive right there, the uh, Kraken gear drive. Wanted to make it kind of cool, sort of like a warp engine, so I gave it the little little ring that lights up. But anyway, this is not about the spaceship. This is about the uh, all-purpose shuttle. So here we go. All-purpose shuttle testing. We should have a full crew on board. Let's go ahead and undock. Undocked. All right, and let's back out. That was pretty cool, huh? All right, we're gonna go ahead and slow down some more, and hopefully we land on land. Hopefully, preferably, conveniently. All right, so for re-entry, this thing pretty much stabilizes itself. I just have to take the bottom air brakes and uh, turn them off. Tuck them in, stow them away, whatever. Make sure the toggle assist is on stability assist, not prograde, because we kind of want it to have a nose up. Now there is a bug that when the craft hits uh, about maybe 20,000 meters while re-entering, the computer sort of of glitches out it resets itself or something of that nature and when that happens your your craft loses well it loses its shit to try and keep that from happening we are going to to toggle the caps lock which should go from regular control to fine control and maybe that way it doesn't bug out as badly and we can correct it but that's ksp for you all right here we go so i may have miscalculated a little bit <clears throat> again
the fuck? Again! Okay, so not the ideal place of landing. I think we can make it work. Let's do this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! I, I almost ate that! I must say, I, I do love the, the sounds of the uh, the waterfall mod. Much better than the uh, grandma vacuum cleaner. So the old fashioned way before we were experimenting with landing gears was actually just a parachute system and it would land on its ass. So here we go. In three, two, one. Shit! Again! So they would be on the surface of this strange, new, brand new alien world from another star system or something of that nature, I don't know. Then once the away team was done screaming their heads off, time to go back to the shuttle and back to the ship. All crew accounted for, pilot ready, crew ready, make sure we're pointing the right way, wait for our ship to be in range. There we go. In three, two, one. Alright, now let's go ahead and pick the ascending node and get our orbit aligned. Remember how I taught you in my uh, how to do orbits video? There we go. Since our starship is in an orbit of 86,000, almost 87,000 meters high altitude, we'll try to match that so we can slow down a little bit. Okay, so we're going a little slower than our than our mothership. And if you remember the video on how to do orbits, that's because of the fact that I'm actually orbiting a little farther away from Kerbin, which means that technically I am moving a little slower in comparison to the uh, mothership, which is closer to Kerbin and therefore moving a little faster. So here we... Wait a minute, what's my electric charge look like? Okay, well, we'll just... <laughs> just you guys don't need lights, right? Night-night! Go ahead and uh, make sure our thing is set to target. We'll aim the shuttle at the target. You can see my my thing of attack there is web. That means we're going to fly above it. That's that's where the target is. So I want to change that. I'm going to point in the opposite direction. See if I can't speed up with the target and go. I don't want to use RCS because we don't have much RCS fuel on this thing. All right. That was just a little, uh, just a little, uh, turn around real quick. No problems here. Turn around real quick. A little faster than that would be nice. All right, crew is safely on board. Let's get out of here. Helm initiate star drive, maximum power.
Alrighty everyone, it's uh, almost time for me to get out of here, but before I do, I'd like to do a few shoutouts. First one is Skalar, I, I, is that Skalar? Slar? Oh man, I know I'm murdering that. Make sure to visit his YouTube channel and give him some love, because he did some fan art that I think you'll find really cool. Behold, Space Cult. I thought that was pretty cool looking. Kind of reminds me more of a, uh, a Assassin's Creed Kerbal. <laughs> and then finally for this uh, this video for today, Maniac Panda. Definitely go and check his channel out and give him some love because some of his KSP creations are amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. Especially the recent one that he came out with where he created a defiant and even a nice little cinematic piece. Really cool. Definitely look at it. Well everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you really liked what you saw, please leave a like at the bottom. And if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. I upload videos often and mostly about Kerbal Space Program uh, and SSTOs and stuff of this nature. We also have a membership if you're interested. It's about 99 cents a month. Unfortunately, YouTube won't allow me to do it for free. But 99 cents is uh, the lowest that they will they will allow me to, to you know, push button thing down. Uh, uh, comes with emojis, <laughs> cool badges and whatnot. Also, I do like um, member-only posts, so that's that's pretty cool. But anyway, this has been a Kerbal Space Program video about SSTOs with a little bit of a, a bonus bonus treat there. Again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.